What's up guys, Stray Dog here and we are back again with another video. So this morning me and probably many other people woke up to find out that our crossplay servers aren't compatible because Bedrock's just gone to 1.17.3. So I thought now would be a perfect time to show everybody how to update to the 1.17.3 with a geyser and make sure that all the Bedrock clients can still connect without having the problem of not connecting in the meantime because updates can be a real pain with this. So we're going to be going from a crossplay server already installed just with an older geyser version so for that reason Bedrock can't actually connect at the moment. I will have a separate video that I'll have popping up right now and that will also be the complete process if you actually haven't got guys or a floodgate and you haven't made a cross-platform server at all yet go ahead and go with that that will be a full rundown whereas this will just be how to update it so you've got your server up and running you've got your geyser and floodgate in there so everybody can log on and you've changed your config files so you're able to log in well um, however like I said before you're not able the bedrock clients aren't able to log in because obviously they've updated so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stopping the server first one thing that we are going to need is filezilla here and um, this is only because the geyser and floodgate files are a little bit large sometimes FTP file access aren't able to process it so well um, it's a completely free program I'll leave a link in the description you can use that and it's just so easy as you'll see in a minute to just move files into your server or out of your server so with the server stopped what we want to do is we want to go to files and we want to go to FTP file access once you're logged in you're going to head down to plugins and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deleting the geyser and the floodgate jar now don't make a mistake and delete the folders the other floodgate and geyser folders that's all of your data in this that's everything that's happened in the world so you want to keep that so it all matches once you do update all we want to do is change the jar which would just be the updated version now it depends Depending on when you installed Floodgate, I suggest doing it both of them because the problem is they don't always update at the same time. So if you haven't updated to the latest version of Floodgate, which I believe as of today was about five days ago, I do suggest doing that just so it's all compatible. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these two and we're going to go ahead to delete. And of course, making sure that it is just the jar file. Now return back to your main screen and we just need to head over to Geyser MC now. So much like when you first downloaded it, what we need to do is head over to download. These are going to be the masters here. So we're going to go for the Geyser Spigot. Now, obviously all we're doing now now is we're just downloading the latest version so this one has been updated they've already announced it on their discord if you're not on their discord i do suggest checking it out they'll announce it as soon as something's ready and they have said that the 1.17.3 uh, is ready for bedrock now so let's just go ahead and keep this file now again we're going to go to geyser this time we're going to go to floodgate underneath it and then we're going to go to master because we want the master download for floodgate and again we're going to go for spigot now although we're getting spigot i do recommend running it on paper jar if you don't already it is much more optimized also before we get into anything else i just want to say thanks we have actually hit quite a milestone of 400 subscribers which to be honest i never actually thought i'd get i remember it being 55 for about a good month maybe two i wondered if i'd ever go past 60 so i really appreciate it that's great back to tutorial now and this is where we're going to use filezilla this is only because the files are quite large and like i said they do struggle sometimes to upload the guys one where it is quite large at the moment so let's open up filezilla if this is your first time using it what you need to do is you need to connect with your information for your multicraft here so when you click on files and go on FTP file access it's going to give you the information there it's not going to tell you your password but your password is your normal multicraft password what you do then is then you input it here into the host the username the password and the port once you've put them four bits of information in just click quick connect um, and then after you've connected the first time you can use this little drop down arrow to connect to it again once you've connected up you're going to see all of the files in your server you now want to look down until you see the plugins folder and you're going to see that you have this information here you just need to upload the jars back in now i made the mistake of not putting the downloads into a particular folder so now i've got to check them out so now i've got to find them within my downloads list so um yeah i do recommend actually making your own folder somewhere maybe on a desktop and putting the two plugins in there the guys from the floodgate just to make it easier to find in fact that's exactly what we're going to do so to do this highlight them um cut or copy them i'm just going to cut them i'm going to go to the desktop and then just paste them there it would just make it a ton easier to actually find in filezilla especially if you have a lot of downloads now if i click my desktop we're going to see that we have floodgate and we have uh, guys are there so we're just going to highlight them both and we're just going to drag them over into the plugins folder into our server now this is primarily all that you're going to have to do now once this is um, all up it's uploaded we then will start our server back up and it's updated so the newer bedrock clients can still join on perfect that's all finished so let's close this down now let's go ahead and start our server back up and of course we'll do a little test just to make sure it works um, because of course java is still on one 17.1 however um, now that we've done this and we've done the update 1.17.3 bedrock players will be able to join on and play seamlessly especially if you do this quickly they won't even get an error they won't even notice between the last update and this 
and everybody will be joining on your server nicely. Perfect, so server started up, so let's go ahead and test now with Bedrock just to see if we can connect. So I'm just gonna keep this up as a small screen because apparently this particular recorder does not like doing both screens. And I do warn you, it might appear a little bit laggy on this. This won't actually be the plugin. This will be more the fact that I'm using um, multiple things to record this at the moment all on one PC. So I'm gonna go ahead to servers. I'm just gonna input the information to of course log on. So your IP and your port, hit save. That's already looking pretty good. We got the online sign, we got current ping. So let's see if we can uh, log in nicely now. So we've got a loading in screen. We're falling from the sky, which of course, as anybody knows that plays this already is the normal thing. Perfect, what do we have here? A nice Minecraft world and I'm in version 1.17.3 with Bedrock and I'm able to join. So let's test out the bugginess and to be fair, it's actually quite good for a just released version. Either way, you are now done and everybody can connect up with either Bedrock or Java still, even with the updated version. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye bye.